Welcome to Wellborn Farms in Boonville, North Carolina for round eight of the Mideast Racing Micro Quad season. The track this morning is wet, muddy, and slippery from all the rain the past couple days. There are a few mud holes along the two mile track that will be a challenge for all the riders. On row one, we're following along with Micro 11 and some of your overall leaders. Reese Bonner is currently first in points and overall. Brianna Beatty has moved up into second after her fourth place finish last round. Wesley Stanley is back after his absence and will be looking to move up from third place. Cadence Ellis is only two points behind Wesley and holding on to fourth after a podium finish and will be looking to get another one today. Josiah Wimbish is also in the front row looking to take another win for himself. Additionally, we're welcoming back Maddox Wellborn after being out for five races with an injury. If, we're just documenting this for the record. All right, Maddox told me if he got on the podium, I had to belly flop into the mud hole. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, hopefully good. Hopefully? Yeah. I hope. I don't know, but I'm, I'm probably going to get up front and hold it all day. You're worried about the mud at all back there? No, nah, not really. So you're shutting him down today, right? Next up, we're following Micro 9 on row 3, where Brooklyn Harrison is your class leader. Jax Fulmer is currently sits in second, just 10 points behind, with consistent top two finishes in the last five rounds. Madeline Horn and Caden Emery are currently tied for third. Caden took the win last round and is looking to get another one today. How you doing today, Jax? Good. Just going to try to get it the whole time and stay out front. Yep. Today. You, uh, you're going to battle out with Brooklyn, I guess, for the lead? Or? Got you. Got you. Got today. Yep, I got you. You worried about the mud at all? Uh, not really. Yeah. Right. Good luck today, buddy. Thank you. Finally, we're looking at micro five and six on row six. Gavin Hodges and Weston Ellis hold the top two spots with a two point difference between them. Neither of them has been outside of the top three yet this season. How are you going to do today? How you gonna do today, man? Tell them how you doing. A little smoke them? Heck yeah, can I get one of these? Heck yeah. All eyes are on Ricky Towery as the signal goes for 10 seconds. As the green flag goes up, Cadence Ellis, Josiah Wimbish, and Logan Morrison get a great jump off the line around the first corner. Cadence keeps up her speed, squeezing ahead, taking the whole shot with Josiah bike length behind. Brady Collins, Wesley Stanley, Reese Bonner, and Maddox Wellborn were not far behind, taking 4 through 7. Brianna Beatty was a few more positions back, starting off in 10th. The pack would immediately get shuffled, though, as the big group heads towards the bottom of the hill. Cadence Ellis, Wesley Stanley, Josiah Wimbish, Logan Morrison, and Brady Collins make it out, but the carnage collects Reese Bonner and Brianna Beatty, setting them back by nearly a minute. By the end of the first lap, Wesley Stanley held the lead with Josiah Wimbish right on his tail. Brady Collins and Cadence Ellis came through just over 10 seconds later. Reese Bonner finished his first lap in 7th, and Brianna Beatty and Maddox Wellborn were a little bit further back in 9th and 10th place. Micro 9 jumps off the line with Jax Fulmer and Caden Emery getting a quick start being side by side around the first corner. Jax runs the corner a little bit wide giving Caden a chance to switch up behind him, but Jax keeps his pace taking a whole shot. Running closely behind them is Tate Hall, Madeline Horn, and Brooklyn Harrison. All five riders got held up at the bottom of the hill though, Jax, Caden, and Tate were able to make it out earlier with some help, but Brooklyn and Madeline were stuck for an additional 15 seconds. 
The gap continued with Jack's former Tate Hall and Caden Emery holding your top three spots with eight seconds between them. Brooklyn Harris and Madeline Horn were nearly a minute back but were looking to fight their way back up into the field. As Micro 5 and 6 takes off, Gavin Hodges and Bentley Johnson get the jump with pretty evenly around the first corner. Gavin Hodges has the inside advantage though, carrying his speed through the first corner, taking the whole shot by a few bikes length. Weston Ellis wasn't too far behind, taking the corner in third, but was on a charge, taking second place by the line. The mud pit at the bottom of the hill was getting smoother by the time they all got there. All that made it through with very little difficulty. This set up a great battle through the first lap. Gavin Hodges put up nearly a 15 second lead. The next four, Tegan Hood, Brentley Johnson, Weston Ellis, and Xander Upton were all within seven seconds of one another. Through the middle laps of the seven lap race, Wesley Stanley continued to dominate, growing his lead to more than two minutes. Josiah Wimbish fell to third on the second lap and was battling with Brady Collins. Josiah would take the position back on the third lap and would continue to hold it with about a 30 second lead. Reese Bonner had a hard fight after the start, but steadily fought his way back up into third place by the end of the sixth lap. His hidden contender though was Xander Thompson on Micro 10. Xander was between 3rd and 4th overall in laps 2 through 6. Brady Collins was keeping good pace floating between 8th and 3rd, getting 5th by the end of the 6th lap. He was behind Maddox Wellborn. Maddox looked like he was on a mission to see his mom jump in the mud hole, making his way all the way up from 10th into 4th place by the end of the 6th lap. Cadence Ellis unfortunately dropped back from 4th all the way down to 9th place. Brianna Beatty fought hard to get positions back but will be between 5th and 7th battling it out with Trey Luckadoo. Micro 9 didn't see much movement though through the middle laps. Jack's former held a commanding lead, growing his distance over second by more than a minute. Caden Emery made his way up into second place ahead of Tate Hall, and they would keep these positions. Brooklyn Harrison and Madeline Horn would also remain in fourth and fifth. Gavin Hodges continued to run away with the lead for Micro 5 and 6, keeping over a minute gap through the middle laps. Tegan Hood kept second through the second lap, but fell away to fourth battling for third with Xander Upton. Weston Ellis pushed hard, making his way up into second place. Bringing to the checkered flag came Wesley Stanley, leading by nearly two minutes. Josiah Wimbish and Reese Bonner took second and third, rounding out your podium. Brady Collins and Maddox Wellborn battled it out for fourth place with less than an eight second gap between them. Brady Collins getting the best, securing fourth on the day. Brianna Beatty kept it close with Trey Luckadoo finishing 7th just 5 seconds behind him. Cadence Ellis finished 9th being the last Micro 11 rider on the lead lap. Xander Thompson didn't quite get his podium, but took 5th overall being one of two Micro 10 riders to stay on the lead lap. Micro 9 came to the checkered flag with Jax Fulmer holding the lead being the only rider to finish on the lead lap. Caden Emery and Tate Hall held down 2nd and 3rd with a good distance between them. Brooklyn Harrison and Madeline Horn finished 4th and 5th respectively. Gavin Hodges continued to push up to the checkered flag showing why he's the points leader and taking the win. 
Weston Ellis unfortunately got held up on the last lap, dropping him into fourth place. Xander Upton and Tegan Hood took advantage of the chance and moved up into second and third place. How was the race today, man? Good, I'm a... okay. Get out front, hold on. Yeah. Wasn't that muddy, was it? Oh, no. Nah. I don't think it was muddy. How was the race today, man? Good. It was real muddy and slippery. What was the best part? Probably passing people. How was the race today, bud? Good. You got a little muddy, man. Yes. Yeah. What was the best part of the track? Next up is Beaver Pond in Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Beaver Pond is known for its small field section and dense woods. Will Wesley Stanley take another win or get closer to the lead? Or will Reese Bonner and Brianna Beatty hold them off for the top spot? Who should we cover next time? Let us know down in the comment section below. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.